This question involves um, polygons. Um, they're telling us that because they're saying the word regular pentagon. So when we see the words um, pentagons, hexagons, we're dealing with polygons, then we should automatically be thinking about what rules do we know about polygons. Before we read the rest of the question, really, we should be writing those rules down because we know we're going to use them somewhere to help us. And the key thing about polygons to remember is there are things called exterior angles. So exterior angles, remember, means the angle that's created by extending the side and the angle you've turned to go back down the other side is known as the exterior angle. So we should remember that the exterior angle of a regular polygon, regular means everything is the same, so this rule only works for regular polygons, is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So in this case, it's 360 divided by 5. So again, we've got whatever technique we use to get our answers for divisions with our calculator. So 5s and 3 it doesn't go, so we can push the 3 over to 6 to make 36. 5s and 36, well, through our 5 times table, 7 5s are 35. Take away from 36 leaves us with 1. So we've got 5s into 10, 2. So the answer is going to be 72 degrees. So we know the exterior angle is going to be 72 degrees. Now once we know the exterior angle, and usually, it doesn't matter what the question is about polygons, I'd really recommend go for the exterior angle, whether they want it or not. It will help you probably to get the rest of the question done. So go for the exterior angle, 72. We then know that these two angles here, they meet at a point on a straight line. This is known as the interior angle of a polygon. It's inside, interior. And those two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So we've got 180, subtract 72 degrees. 10 take away 2 is 8, 7 take away 7 is 0, 1 take away nothing is so 180 degrees. So we know the interior angle is 180 degrees. Now because this question is about regular shapes, we know every angle inside this pentagon is 180 degrees. So again, I've not read the question yet, I'm just filling information in because I kind of know that it's going to help me to do the question somewhere. So now we can go to the actual question and see what it actually wants to get us. So it's asking us to work out the size of the angle DEH. So DEH is DEH, so this angle here. Um, it looks like uh, we've got a point here, and it looks like if we could work out all the angles around there, then we've got a rule that says the angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So we know that one's 108 because we've done the uh, work with the polygon. They told us in this question that AEL is an equilateral triangle, so an equilateral triangle, and we should remember that equilateral means everything is the same, so all the lengths are the same length and all the angles inside are the same. We know the angles in a triangle add up to 360, uh, sorry, 180, and 180 divided by 3 is 60, so every one of these angles is 60 degrees. This is a pentagon, this is the same pentagon, so we know this angle here is 180 degrees. Angles around the point add up to 360, so we can find this angle by doing 360 degrees minus 180 degrees minus 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. So 108 plus 108, 216 plus that, 276. So we're going to end up doing 360 take away 276 degrees. And lots of ways of doing it. But it's a non calculated paper, so if you haven't got a technique, then at least write down and take away some. Um, borrowing again uh, to make that 10 because I can't do 0 take away 6 like this. So 10 take away 6 is 4. 5 take away 7 uh, again can't do that. So we borrow 100 from there to make that 15 10s. And 15 take away 7 is 8. And uh, 2 take away 2 is nothing. So the answer is going to be 84 degrees. If you're not happy with that technique, then you could do 360 take away 200. That's going to be 2. Uh, uh, come on. It's going to be 160 degrees. Then you could do the 160 take away the 70, uh, that's going to be 90 degrees, and then you're left with doing 90 degrees take away the 6 degrees. So the 200, the 70, and the 6 made 276. Take away each part, and then you end up with 84 degrees. So, you know, it's up to you as 10 years for takeaways, but as long as you get the idea of uh, getting the answer. So, key facts again polygons, regular, all angles and lengths are the same size. One formula to remember really for polygons, always go for the exterior angle whether the question wants it or not. That then allows you to break up the rest of the picture into easy bits. Exterior angle, 360 divided by the number of sides for a regular polygon. In this case it was 72. Those two angles, exterior and interior, always add up to 180 on any polygon. 
whether it's regular or not, because straight sides meet at a point, and angles are at a point with 360. We knew an equilateral triangle had angles of 60 degrees because they're all the same. And so done.